So we're here at Thriller Fest. What brought you here this year? Well, I am the recipient of the Silver Bullet Award this oh, year. Congratulations. So I try to get to Thriller Fest as often as I can. It's mm -hmm. a fantastic event. And now you're you're known for writing the the book that the TV series Bones is based on. Did you ever expect that level of success? Well, when you make a pilot, you, you hope that the pilot will be picked up. You right. never really anticipate that you, we're going into our 11th season. Wow. So, you know, you talk about it and you laugh about it, but you never really expect you're going to go 11 seasons on network television. Right. So that's been right. really delightful. And you, you write the, the episodes as well. You're one of the writers on it. I'm a producer, and I write one episode a season with my daughter, who's also oh. Carrie Rikes, who's also an author, and we co-write um, the episode. Wow. Do you do that um, there, or where, where do you do that together? You break the story in the writer's room. Okay. on the Fox lot, which is where we shoot, mm -hmm. and then you pitch it, and once it's approved, then you go home and you write mm -hmm. the script. And then you, they like to have the writers on set when their episode is being filmed. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. So you have, like, the chair there. And... I do. I do <laughs> with my name on it, yes. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. And you have a new book out now, correct? I do. I have two books, uh, one in the Young Adult series and then one in my Temperance Brennan series. It's called Speaking in Bones. Okay. It will be out July 21st. Um, it's the 18th in that series. It takes oh, wow. place in the Carolina Mountains, and mm -hmm. uh, it brings in, it's kind of a hobby people participate in on the Internet called web sleuthing, where you can mm -hmm. go on the Internet and find unidentified remains, and then they try to match them with missing persons reports and solve cold cases in that way. So it brings that whole world in. What are the challenges of writing a series with, with so many books in it? Well, I think some things get easier because you get to know your characters better and better over 18 books. Some things get harder because when a reader picks up a book, it may be their very first book they've ever read in the series. So you have to, or it could be a reader who's picking up the 18th book that they've read in the series. Mm -hmm. So you have to reintroduce your characters and your main premise every time, but you have to do it in a new and creative way right. every single time. Right. So that kind of thing gets a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. How about character arc? in each one. Yes, there are some arcing stories, as we have in the TV show. They're each mm -hmm. self-contained, each book and each episode. But right. you do have arcing stories that you also follow throughout. So those are fun to play with. And you have to keep your characters evolving and changing, and the relationships right. evolving and changing between your characters. And you also write a YA series with your son. I do, who is a litigator. He's an attorney. They both oh. are. Both my kids are attorneys oh. that don't practice. So, <laughs> uh, yes, it's called the Viral Series. We had parents would come to my signings and say, is it okay if my daughter reads your Temperance Brennan books? And I would say, well, how old is she? And she'd say, like, nine. And I'd say, no, <laughs> no. I no, I really don't think so. Mm -hmm. So we started thinking about, well, what if kids are interested in forensic science? What if we write a series in which kids are using science at their own level. So we pitched that and the publisher liked it and then they said, well, throw in a vampire or throw in a zombie. And mm -hmm. we said, N no, that's not, <laughs> that's not what we want to do. But there's an element of what's called grounded fantasy in there and you learn about okay. it in the first book. The kids rescue a puppy. It's a mutated form of parvovirus that the puppy is sick with. Mm -hmm. The kids get it and it changes their DNA. So they acquire these special perceptive abilities they can smell like a dog if you're fearful or if you're lying. They can hear like a wolf. So they combine mm. these kind of super abilities with their love of science to solve cold cases and mysteries. Oh, it's Temperance okay. Brennan's 14-year-old great-niece, Tori Brennan, is the main character. Oh, I like how it's all connected. Like yes, that. yes. And actually, we've done a couple of short stories that are digital download only, oh. Shock and Swipe, and both Tempe and Tori are in them, and they're kind of competing to solve the crime first. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah. The kids are loving them, and some of the schools are using us as mandatory reading oh, for summer reading lists and that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, because, I mean, it's entertaining, but it's also educational. Yes, and it shows 
girls, young girls, that mm -hmm. science is cool. Science is for yeah. girls, too. And it shows we do a lot of school visits. And it shows the boys that writing is cool and reading is cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, they've been quite popular with the schools. And what's the process like writing with your son? How does that work? Do you write independently and email each other? Well, we live about seven minutes apart, so oh, we see each other nice. regularly. <laughs> he has, he's better in some areas, like writing about kids' dialogue and social media that they're up with at, at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then I'm better at um, so, the science parts of it. Right. And we're both pretty good at plot construction so mm -hmm. he writes parts I write parts then I take the whole thing and do what he calls destroy his art <laughs> I edit and then we have an editorial meeting we talk about our differences of opinion and then yeah it's 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 five books down the road we think we struck oh, a, a an arrangement that works oh great well thank you so much for speaking with us okay take a look at speaking in bones yeah <laughs>